My name is Anthony, and I'll be drawing for you. Hey, planet Earth, we meet again. Welcome to my channel, Anthony Draws For You, where no idea is too crazy. How you been? What's good? What's going on in your world? You enjoying your summer? Mine is hot as f watching anything good lately. Seriously, like if you're watching something good, please put it in the comment section because I'm in desperate need of a good TV show. I've gone through like a whole bunch of stuff in my watch list and it's empty right now. I'm looking for comedy, I'm looking for action, and I'm looking for funky. If you got something funky and weird that you just watched, send it my way. Today I want to talk to you about a very serious topic. Turtles. Uh, no, really, the serious topic is going back to your old artwork. So what I got for you today is a little doodle that I brought to life and I brought back from the dead from the pile of unfinished work that I'm always pushing off to the side. And I just had a little fun with this one. So I've got a lot of friends who are into bikes. There's a common misconception that bikers are what you see on like Sons of Anarchy, like they're all involved in all sorts of bad stuff. The truth is most of them in real life are just giant mushes. They used to be the kids who would ride their bikes around the neighborhood and then they just became adults and got bigger bikes. They're always doing stuff for their community. They're always delivering toys to some hospital and they really couldn't be further from the stereotype. So this video today is um, in part a dedication to all my friends who appreciate bikes. You guys know who you are and I want you to know that you're very close to my heart. Just a reminder before we get started, my services are available for anybody who needs it, businesses and individuals alike. T-shirt designs, coffee mugs, commercial storyboarding, logos, pamphlets, restaurant menus. Give me a surface and I'll give you my A-game. So this concludes the appetizer. Let's get on to the meat and potatoes. All right, so um, let's draw some biker turtles. All right, so for those of you who are a little bit older in the audiences, and for those of you who are younger, but you got really good taste, this one, yes, it is a bit of an homage to those 1930s, 40s, 50s, old school Bugs Bunny cartoons, the tortoise and the hare. They had a whole bunch of cartoons, but there was one in particular where the joke was that the tortoise won because he had this big giant rocket attached to the back of his shell. So I'm paying a little bit of tribute to the masters from the past. Is there any other design on underwear? It would seem that the only appropriate design for underwear in cartoons or comics or otherwise, it's always gotta be polka dots. I mean, I guess hearts too, but I don't know. Speedy just seemed like a polka dot kind of guy. Polka dots, express yourself, Speedy. Man, it has been months since I've drawn this guy. I found the footage, lucky I didn't delete it. It was old footage on my camera from months ago and I decided to just upload it and finish the drawing. Holographic imaging activated. I'm no mechanic, so I just drew a whole bunch of exhausts and pipes and metal brackets and just stuff. That's it, that's it, I just drew metal stuff. That's one thing that I really would love to learn. Um, going off on what I said earlier about good stuff for TV, um, I would love recommendations for documentaries on anything engineering. So for you gearheads out there, if you've got any recommendations, please send them my way. I would love to learn more about it. Because I was always the abstract thinker. I always did well in all the humanities classes, like English, history, that was my stuff. But when it came to the other side of the brain, like the analytical, the science, math, the engineering stuff, I never got into and I wish I did. Yeah, the maths and sciences, they were never really my forte, except I am an expert in algebra because I took it four times. I took pre-algebra, then algebra, then I took a break and did geometry for sophomore year, I think. Then I did algebra two, and then algebra two trig. You can't get me down, math class. It's not that I was bad at it, I just didn't want to do it. I don't know, I designated that time during the day as I did that as my art time. Like, 
Instead of paying attention, I actually drew on the backs of every single one of my note papers. No, seriously, kids, like, don't do that in school. If I can go back, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd force myself to pay attention. You thought there was one illustration in this video. There are two. The second one at high speed. I mean, I cut it at the same speed. It's like 16 times faster, but high speed, like the illustration itself is going at high speed. I mean, look at that face. I don't know exactly when, but particularly in comics, I wanna say in the past like 10 years, possibly more, whoosh lines, like you know, those action lines, they've sort of become passe. You don't really see them as much anymore, and instead you see objects in motion in their place. So for example, instead of drawing action lines, like whooshing the helmet back, to show the motion, I put that spit. So the spit is flying back. So instead of doing the action lines, you know, those whoosh lines, Try not to lean on those to tell your audience what's happening. Use what's already in the picture and put it in motion. Like in this case, it's the spit, but just find whatever is moving in the picture and just introduce the element of motion to it. It'll bring your characters and your scenes to life so much more. Got the old red, white, and blue background. USA! Alright, so that about does it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Once again, you have been watching Anthony Draws For You, the channel where no idea is too crazy. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'll be posting them really soon. I'll be doing a lot of how-to videos. I'll be doing more instructionals and uh, more demonstration kind of stuff. Uh, there's going to be more biker stuff, more mechanical things, cars, machinery. I'm thinking of doing a little bit more in terms of like engines, uh, steampunk, cyberpunk. Go crazy. Fill the comment section. Let me know what you want to see me do. Don't forget to pound that like button. Hit the notifications bell. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all your social media platforms. Be sure to check out my Etsy page. I've got all of my artwork available. Autograph prints are available of anything that you see me create on this channel. That's it. Have a great rest of your week, guys. See you soon.